All right, hello and welcome to Cardio Core. I hope you are all having a great day. So today's workout requires no equipment, just your body. Um, we will be doing cardio and we will be doing core and hopefully you'll find it challenging and fun. Get your heart rate pumping and get your abs, glutes and lower back working hard. So get some tunes going if you'd like and follow along. We'll start with your warming up your shoulders. Just doing some backwards arm circles. And then some forward arm circles. Just trying to get my stopwatch going here. <laughs> Instead I got my compass going, that's okay. Open your arms up nice and wide. Give yourself a big hug. And we'll go up and down. Trying to fully extend that arm and fully reach back. Moving into your hips, stepping like you are stepping over a hurdle. And backwards. One more each side. Awesome, we'll do a few inchworms, warming up your hamstrings. So what you wanna do is keep your legs straight, reach for the floor, walk it forward, walk it back. You're coming into that nice high plank position. Going for five of those. One more. Excellent. We're going to get you warmed up with a few cardio moves, starting with speed skaters. So stepping or hopping side to side. As you get warmer, you can go a bit lower, maybe go a bit faster. Maybe you hop further side to side. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, and we'll do butt kicks. Bringing your heels right up to your butt. Five, four, three, two, and jumping jacks. You can also do step tap if that's better for you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Hopefully you're feeling a bit warmer now. We're just going to alternate between two exercises today and then we'll move through our list of exercises. So one exercise will be cardio, the other one will be core. So our first two exercises are speed skaters and toe taps. So speed skaters we already did in our warm up. That's where you're hopping, step, hopping or stepping side to side. And then toe taps, you're going to be in a high plank. You're going to come back. Tap your toe, come back, tap your toe. So one on each, one toe tap on each side will equal one. You're going for five toe taps and 20 speed skaters. You're doing three rounds as fast as you can. 
and then we'll give you a little bit of a break. So let me get my stopwatch started and then you can follow along. All right, so 20 speed skaters, five toe taps, three rounds, and then you get a 45 second break while I describe our next exercises. Ready? Here we go. Speed skaters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember you can go lower or faster to change your difficulty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. All right, toe taps, five. High plank position, reach back, touch your toe. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Back to speed skaters, 20 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Back to your toe taps. Here we go. One, two, three, two, three, four, five. Speed skaters, last time. Halfway. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, toe taps. Pushing back with that arm, working those shoulders. Awesome, let's take a one minute break. Next up, we have forward and back shuffles and supermans. What you're gonna do is visualize. Sorry, it's bright. <laughs> All right, so set out some markers or visualize your course here. You're going to go forward, tap the ground, back, tap the ground. So that counts as one. You're going for 10 of those. And for your supermans, you are Lying on your belly, you're going to lift everything up, then you're going to bring your arms overhead and then back around and that will count as one. You're going for ten. Not sure if you can see me here. You're on your belly, superman position, reaching up and back down, going for ten. All right, so three rounds alternating between those two. Five seconds. Ready. Here we go. One, as fast as you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Superman with the arm crook out. On your belly, lift everything up. Keep your arms straight. Reach overhead. Going for 10. Nice, even breath. Two more rounds. Here we go, running forward, running back, touch the ground. Three, four, five. those arms out. Three more. Round three. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. those arms out. Don't let them touch the ground. Feel your back working. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, great work. Take a minute here. Next up, we have burpee broad jumps and we have bicycles. Okay, so for the burpee jump, broad jumps, you're just doing five. So what you're going to do is come down, burpee, jump as far as you can. Come down, burpee, jump as far as you can. Nice, soft landings, going for five. For bicycles, you're lying on your back, crunching up, bringing your elbow across the opposite knee, turning those shoulders. And you're going for 20, so two sides equals one. So it's 40 total, 20 to each side. We have 10 seconds here. So five burpee broad jumps, you can step back. You don't have to do chest to ground if you don't want to. It just depends on your intensity level that you're comfortable with. Ready? Here we go. So I will show you all sorts of versions. Last one here. Bicycles for 20. Turn those shoulders. Breathe. All right, back to 
to our burpee broad jumps. Five more. Ready? Here we go. You can step back or jump back. If you don't want to jump here, do lunge lunge. Very similar. Twenty bicycles. Here we go. Turn the shoulders. One more round, going for five more burpees. Here we go. Whew. Bicycles last time. Going for 20 reps. halfway through our workout. Grab a quick drink if you'd like, then we're into our next set of exercises. So three rounds again. We have, oh, my apologies, drop squats. So for your drop squats, coming down and back up, you can also step in and out, going for 20 of those, and then you have stars. So for stars, Modified version, going for five each side, would be here. You're in that modified side bridge. You would come up and raise that top leg, pushing your hips forward. That's a modified version. If you're feeling really fit and like you have really strong glutes, then we'll do the more advanced version. So you're gonna come up on straight legs. Again, five per side. You might want to switch halfway through to two rounds of one version and then another round of another. It's up to you. But we are starting with those 20 drop squats. Are we ready? I'll give you 10 more seconds. And here we go. Two, three, get your hips down. This is modified. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty stars. I'll show you modified for this round. Hips up, raise that top leg. You're going to feel this right in the side of your butt. Push your hips forward as you lift up. Switching sides. Excellent. 20 more drop squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You can go at a different pace if you like. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, come on, you're strong, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all right, showing the more advanced version now, your option, whichever one you want to do, you need to get your body into a straight line before you lift that leg up. Nice and controlled. Second side will always be a bit tougher. Come on. Whew. Drop squats, round three. Go for 20. All right, stars, you choose which version works for you. Lift up. Make sure that body gets into that straight line. Feel the side butt working. Only five per side, so make them challenging. Awesome. Take a little breather. One minute here. All right. So last time we did front and back. Now we'll do side to side. So again, I'm going to choose my two dandelions here. I'm going to tap here. I'm going to shuffle step over. Tap. I'll do this dandelion. And then shuffle step over. Come back. Going for 10, so there and back equals one. And then we're alternating with jackknives. Show you two versions. So jackknives here, keeping your legs straight, coming up and back down. Maybe if you're flexible, you can touch your toes. Modified is your V-sit. Regardless of which one you choose, do 10 and we have three rounds. All right, we ready? Three, two, here we go. 10 side to side. Touch the ground on your toes, quick feet. Pretend you're racing somebody. Make sure you're not turning. You're truly moving side to side. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack knives or V sets. I'll do five of each, starting with the V-set. You choose. Lifting everything up off the ground. Excellent. Two more rounds. Ready? Here we go. One. Touch the ground on your toes. Two. Three. Four. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! So good. Ten of these. Exhale as you come up. Whew. All right, final round. Here we go. One. Nice. Final one, going for ten. Coming right up onto your butt. Exhale as you lift. Alright, we're on to our final pair of exercises. We have, alright, reverse burpees and glute bridges. Alright, so for these ones, if you can't get down to the ground, you can sit down onto something so that you don't go all the way down to the ground, so it's a low bench or step. And then when you sit down onto whatever that is, you would just come back into your V-sit and then you would stand up. But if you're able to get down to the ground, then you're going to roll back and use that momentum to help you roll back up. So non-modified version is here. Just going to sit down, roll back, and come up. Higher intensity would be coming back, coming up, and jumping as high as you can at the top. So you're going for five of those, and then you're alternating those with 20 glute lifts. So you can be here, squeezing your glutes to lift, tapping back down 20 times, or more advanced, one leg in the air, going for 10 on each side. Your option. All right, three rounds. Five reverse burpees, 20 glute lifts. Let's make these pretty. Five seconds. And here we go. Roll back. Jump if you want more intensity. Two. Three. Four. Five, glute lifts, 20 total. I will demo all versions. This is the easier version, getting nice and high. Squeeze your glutes as you lift. Single leg is tougher. Lift up, get your hips as high as a straight line between your knees and shoulders. Pressing through the heel of that foot. Awesome. 
Back to our reverse burpees, five more. Glute left. Get nice and high. three. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Excellent work. I am going to stretch from a standing position today. You can modify the stretches if you want to stay on the ground. I'm just getting eaten alive as per usual. So we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Let's start with the calves, one foot back, pressing that heel down. Feel a stretch through the calf. Make sure your toes point straight forward. And switching sides. All right, working up to our hamstring. Gonna have one foot in front, hinge your hips back and lean forward to feel it in the back of the leg. Hold it there. And switching legs. Into your quads, standing, grabbing onto one, oops, one foot, trying to keep your knees side by side, staying nice and tall. Switching legs. Into your glutes, you can cross that one foot over, sit down and back. You can also do the seated if you prefer. You can grab onto something for balance if you'd like. And switching legs. Into your hip flexors. You can do this as a standing lunge 
or you can kneel on the ground, tuck your tailbone and push forward, release up and over. obnoxious bird I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> All right, into your shoulders, bringing the one arm across. Persistent it is. Feel free to send me a message if you know what bird was making that sound. All right, bring your elbow up to the ceiling, stretching out those triceps and lats. Switching sides. Stretching out your chest and activating your mid-back, bring your shoulders down and then bring your thumbs, pointing them behind you, back and together, hold it there. Alright, thank you for joining me today. I hope the sound was okay and that I am actually on the screen. I guess I'll find out when I upload this to YouTube. Have a great day and I'll see you for our next session.